Um, so the Baylor sex scandal. Um, what can I say? You know, I, I'm a Baylor Bear. Um, it's just kind of heart disheartening that uh, that that's just happening at my old alma mater. Um, if anyone who knows me, I wasn't a real sports fan. I probably went to maybe three or four football games in uh, my five years at college. I really just didn't care about the sports stadium. I think it was just honestly a waste of money. That money should be going toward scholarships, better facilities, you know. They all say, oh, it's good for the students. I'm like, no, it's not. They're not. Their tuition is not going down. In fact, it's going up. But that's another video. Um, I am disheartened by what's going on at my old university, though. Uh, basically, what happened was a lot of the Baylor football players were having, uh, basically, raping girls, and apparently, the uh, Art Barrels, the head coach, knew about. The behavior of their players before he signed some of them on. Um, they, and they also there's evidence apparently of them trying to cover up, trying to cover up uh, the rapes on campus. Uh, they're not filing the reports or. This is all bad, man. I just I don't get why a university who preaches Christian values. Maybe they are Christians. Maybe Christianity is misogynistic if you read the thing, but can't say that but they claim to be a good safe uh, safe campus they're not man it's just I'm, I'm lost for words you know Ken Starr should be fired the chief of police at uh the chief of police should be fired basically a whole uh restructuring of the whole board executive police Everybody, you know, the whole football team should be dismantled, in my opinion, across the nation. It's like, what a waste of money a football stadium is. Over a hundred million dollars on that football stadium from donations. You get a hundred million dollars toward another medical school. You know, we pride ourselves on being a medical, a medical uh, primer, pre like a med school primer. You can go do that, but. That just makes too much sense. But it's honest what happened to that girl was really sad. I hope that she could one day, um, you know, learn, move on, and, uh, you know, be a better from it. You know, it just. And apparently, I knew. One Baylor football player who is not involved in this in the case, but uh, Tevin Elliott, he got 20 years for sexual assault. I had an English class with that guy. That's crazy. Now he's spending 20 years in prison. Gave up a good NFL career. And I, I remember him showing us his tattoos in the English class. Like, yeah, Jesus is my savior. He even had his mom tattooed. But he did all those horrible things, and I'm not trying to uh, sympathize with the suspect or blame the victims. I'm just saying what he did was wrong, but he portrayed himself as such a good guy and everything. And it's really, you can't trust anybody, man. It's just, it's all fake. Now, how can we prevent this from ever happening? You start teaching kids in our schools self defense, K through 12, K through college. Every semester of every, every semester of every school time you're in school, you gotta take a self defense course. Period. You know, you gotta learn how to defend yourself. Cause not everyone can afford to go to martial arts class or has the time to. You know, we need to start ingraining this in our culture where we need to start teaching our kids how to defend themselves. It's nuts, absolutely nuts what happened. And it's a simple solution, you know. That could have a serious drastic effect on a, uh, on a, uh, the number of rape or sexual assaults on campuses. Just campuses. If we could just fix that, that'd be huge. That would be a good place to start. But people gotta have their football. Dumb. Absolutely dumb. <sighs>